word from hell or word. This is Mono, your Unity teacher from the hell. Today, I'm going to talk about what you need to learn to become a Unity developer and how you can work with Unity. I won't be discussing how to get an internship or apply for the jobs since um, the conditions vary across um, countries and backgrounds. Instead, in this video, I will focus on my personal opinion about Unity, what kind of project you can build with Unity, and share my thoughts on expanding your knowledge on each level. So let's get started. Unity is a tool for everyone, not just for programmers. It is also used by UI designers, 3D modelers, 3D riggers, and more. Unity's style of programming is slightly different. While Unity C Sharp is grammatically the same as .NET C Sharp, it doesn't have the main function like other programs. Instead, Unity has its own life cycle, such as start, which is called when the application started, and update, which is called every frame. If you want to know details about Unity life cycle, you can check my other video. And that's why writing code in Unity is sometimes called scripting instead of programming. And additionally, Unity often uses older versions of C Sharp, so you may not be able to use the most recent features of C Sharp. Finding solutions within the Unity community can be challenging sometimes since there are fewer developers deeply familiar with the engine and the language. In my opinion, Unity is most powerful for creating simple games, since it was originally designed as a game engine. It provides everything you need, including physics and UI and everything else you need. However, Unity's capabilities go beyond games and it's widely used in industries like manufacturing, gaming and XR, like virtual reality and augmented reality. Unity offers an industry plan and you can implement various plugins for your applications. For example, Unity Pixies provides 3D visualization for CAD files. While some people associate Unity with casual games, and earlier engine with bigger games, Unity is fully capable of building large-scale games as well. XR applications, such as VR and AR, can be easily developed in Unity. So, being a Unity developer doesn't necessarily mean that you are exclusively a game developer. Personally, I do game development in my streams and tutorials, but I primarily work on industrial applications. Even big traditional companies are digitizing their facilities, which means they also hire Unity developers. Of course, you can always work in the gaming industry with your Unity skills. Now let's discuss about what you need to learn to become a good Unity developer. Please note that these are my personal opinions, not really anything fixed. The specifics of what you need to learn, what you want to learn, may become clearer as you work on actual projects. So take this suggestion as guidance. Um, uh, yeah. For beginners, the most important thing is keep your interest in game development alive. Make what you want to make. Don't give up. Share your work with your friends and on the internet. Keep learning from failures and strive to improve. This is especially crucial if you don't have prior programming knowledge. Additionally, learning C Sharp is highly recommended if you want to continue working with Unity and pursue programming. While you can start with visual scripting method like Bolt or Playmaker, it is advisable to transition to writing code in C Sharp. Learning C Sharp will be instrumental in making games or industry applications. And even if you face failure, it will help you learn and grow. Intermediate. I understand that this term can be somewhat vague since the previous level, the beginner was focused on like career actor beginners. At the intermediate level, you may have already become familiar with some functions in Unity. 
it's important to continue learning unity functions and gain a better understanding of when to use what. For example, consider questions like when to use the old input system versus the new one, whether to use cinema machine or a regular camera, and whether to utilize the built-in rendering pipeline or universal render pipeline. While you don't need to have all the answers immediately, keep asking yourself these questions and gradually find the solutions. Programming. I know you may want to lead a comfortable life within the Unity ecosystem, but it's time to expand your domain knowledge beyond Unity functions. Learn about C-sharp grammar, expressions, and how to optimize your code. Additionally, delve into topics such as data structures, algorithms, and software architecture. While some of these concepts may not be directly applicable or useful right now, they will undoubtedly benefit you at some point in your Unity journey. Learn software architecture and design patterns. Relying solely on functions like game object find, get component, or update indefinitely is not advisable. Learn from experienced developers and discover the wonderful and amazing solutions they have found. Explore topics such as singleton, dependency injection, and many more. Um, you don't need to fully grasp every detail immediately. Simply familiarize yourself with these concepts. You, you have your entire life to gain comprehensive understanding of how they work. Cooperation. Perhaps the most important aspect of programming is learning how to work effectively with your colleagues and friends. This also includes understanding the domain knowledge of other team members, such as UI designers, level designers, backend engineers, or other Unity developers. If you have free time, take opportunity to engage in conversations and inquire about what they are working on. That's not mandatory, but I personally find this kind of communication and mutual understanding quite valuable. Version control. This may very well be the most critical aspect and something you should learn as a beginner as well. Git is the most widely used technology for version control nowadays, so if you are unsure where to start, begin with Git. Tools like Source Tree offer a user-friendly interface for Git functions. Save your project, keep track of changes, and minimize mistakes. Eh, advanced. At this level, you will likely have a better understanding of what you need to do than I do, right? So you don't need any like my advice learning never ends and i believe you are ready to explore the entire program world including low level knowledge you can delve into how the unity engine is made with c personally i think it would be amazing to understand at least one of the following areas rendering networking or physics not just how to use them in unity but also how they are implemented and work behind the engine Okay, that concludes my video about my personal opinions on the characteristics of Unity, the fields you can work in, and what you need to know to become a successful Unity developer. Keep in mind that my opinions may change in the future, but um, I might even laugh at this video, but for now, that is how I think. So if you want to be a Unity developer, don't give up and keep learning, you will continue to improve. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button. Um, I will see you in the future Unity development videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye. See ya.